top secret fragrance layering combinations are the topic of today's video and these are fragrances that you layer together when you want high impact you want to be noticed but this video is actually really special because this is a two-parter it's been such a highly requested video since I filmed my first layering combinations listen that video went off I'm gonna make this make sense so we're gonna talk about 10 fragrance layering combinations in total across both parts. So in part one, which is today's video, I'm gonna talk about five, and then in part two, which will be out in a few weeks, I'll talk about another five. So if you don't want to miss part two, then make sure you're subscribed and you turn the post notifications on because you see this YouTube algorithm, yeah? It loves to move mad. Turn your post notifications on and then you'll never miss the video from me. Okay, you filthy animals, let's get this thing started. I'm gonna start out with one of my favorite layering combinations at the moment. It's actually become my little secret weapon. This is Nishane's Annie, but you better layer this with Molecule 04. Guys, please do not watch the fact that my little spray nozzle thing has gone MIA. Like, I actually don't know where it went. I really need your help. Like, if you have any suggestions on how I can fix this then let me know because I don't want to throw this away but then I don't want to buy a new one. So the first time I tried this layering combination was when I was going on a date and ladies I had my man shaking. He was constantly complimenting me on how amazing I smell. He actually texted me afterwards to say that he couldn't stop thinking about the way I smell and I came to two conclusions from this. Number one results because this is exactly the kind of reaction that we want but two this layering combination is dangerous. So I've always said that Nishane's Annie is a perfect date fragrance. So guys, layer these two at your own risk because you are about to take this catnip fragrance to a whole new level. Like when you lay a Molecule 04 on top of Nishane's Annie, you're gonna bring out those creamy, woody nuances that are in the base of this fragrance from the sandalwood. And the sandalwood kind of adds a sensuality to the fragrance. So imagine you're enhancing that with Molecule 04 blood club. Also feel like Molecule 04 makes Nishane Annie a lot more intense. It makes it project more, makes it last longer. And ladies, right? All I'm saying is, if you plan to wear these two together, then you better start preparing to have his children and start planning your bridal price because you see this? This will have him wanting to cuff you on the first date. Like, ladies, be careful. Okay, so I have two more layering tips for Nishane Annie. One I'm going to talk about now and then the other one I'm going to save for part two. When it's really hot outside, try layering Nishane Annie with Light Blue Intense by Dolce & Gabbana. Now you guys know that I do not limit myself to only light fragrances in the summertime. I don't really care, I'll wear heavy fragrances, but if you really want to bring out those fresh, bright qualities in Nishane Annie, then Light Blue Intense is gonna do that for you and more. So not only does Light Blue Intense bring out the fresher qualities in Nishane Annie, but I feel like Light Blue Intense adds a different dimension to Nishane Annie. It adds some musky touches, it also adds some different fruits you know add some kind of fruity twist which makes the scent smell more invigorating like you know when you do like a mouthwash and then you go ah what I do is I spray Annie first and then I'll add some light blue intense on top and I actually wore this layering combination when I went to the desert. The camels, they were absolutely obsessed. The camels were asking me to write it down. I was like, Mr. Camel, you know, Nishane Annie is a little bit expensive. Be careful. Camel was like, no, nah, don't watch that. I've got the peas. I'm like, go on, Mr. Camel, got your bag, yeah? If you sometimes find Annie a little bit too overbearing to wear on a hot day, then honestly, lay a light blue intense and it's just going to tone it down and make it just smell perfect for you know hot weather guys this next one i'm telling you i shocked myself by the mastery is that even a word mastery no it's not i don't think it is but I was shocked by the masterpiece that I created. I should actually write a thesis on my findings. Scientist, PhD, and then man. Are you guys ready? Noir pour femme and invite only Amber 23, my lord. Listen, these two on their own, it's like, but these two together, 
game changer. Imagine this, a spicy vanilla combined with some syrupy gourmand notes, the honey, the plum, the amber. It makes both fragrances just smell even more edible and mm, you know, like you'd think that it'd be impossible for those fragrances to be even more edible, but listen, anything is possible with God and perfume. You know what, this is gonna be my scent of the day because this really just does bits. So firstly you want to layer Noir Pour Femme because it's the heavier one and then you layer some Invite Only on top and don't be shy now with your sprays. Go absolutely mental with your sprays. I think that if you're looking for more longevity with Invite Only then layering it with Noir Pour Femme is the way to go and I feel that when you layer this with this it makes Noir Pour Femme a little bit sexier and sweeter and a bit more sultry. Guys these two are a match made in heaven trust me right now. If you guys are hitting the street tonight whatever motives going on run to your fragrance collection and layer these two and then tag me on Instagram and let me know your thoughts because I I know that my ladies are gonna really appreciate this layering combination it's wow I love doing these layering videos for you genuinely I really enjoy them I could probably film layering combination videos all day because I just get so excited sharing my secret sauce with you and guys this next one it's a little bit naughty. It's an absolute sort, mate. <laughs> My Essex friends, please don't get offended. That was such a terrible accent. But the one that's a little bit of a sort, <laughs> a bit of a sort. If you guys own Ormond Jane Amber Royale, you better layer it with Guillain Spiritus Double Veneer and I bet you guys are sitting there and you're shaking, you're like, whoa Lauren, you're blowing my mind, oh my god. But if you don't own Spiritus Double Veneer, then a great alternative to layer this with is Indult Tohota, but if I'm honest, Spiritus Double Veneer is my favourite, but Teota, Teota's on the sub bench, he's warming up to come on the pitch, if you know what I mean. Oh, outfits of this combo, okay, so I'm thinking silk trousers with like a bodysuit and a blazer, Oh. Girl, guys, this layering combo is enjoyment. If you like to smell opulent, classy, with a hint of sexy, okay, maybe a large dose of sexy, then you need to try this layering combination now. I ain't even gonna make this complicated. You are essentially turning a indolic jasmine amber into an indolic jasmine amber with a boozy vanilla. Guys, if this fragrance wasn't sexy enough, just imagine how sexy you are going to make this when you layer this. Guys, I was shaking, ready to call a doctor because I was so moved by the way that these two smell together. And I'm telling you guys, if you own this, layer it with this. Alternative, in Dr. Tohota, again, on the subspence. So ideally you wanna layer it with this. If you don't own Tohota, maybe some other vanilla, but who knows, that one could probably smell like trash. This is the last layering combination to a part two, guys. Have you ever thought about layering Initio side effects with Initio's absolute aphrodisiac. Guys, I feel like the house of Initio is made for layering, you know? There are so many Initio layering combinations that I could talk about. It could be a whole video in itself. If you wanna see like an Initio's layering 101, then let me know in the comments section. And also, if you wanna hear about the Magnetic Blends collection, then let me know. My love for side effect is no secret, okay? I ran out of a bottle of side effect literally like a week ago. It only took me a couple of days before I had a new one. And this is a recent layering combination that I found. So I was in the mood to wear side effect, which is probably what, like four days a week. And I was like, hmm, I wanna add a little spice on top. So I sprayed some of this on top and I was like, <gasps> You're essentially turning this boozy gourmand into a boozy gourmand with chocolatey vanilla. That is essentially what these two smell like together. It smells a lot more sensual. And I also feel like it tones this down a little bit. So maybe if you don't wanna be a crazy person like me and wear this on the first date, but you do like the scent and you want something maybe a little bit more close encounter sensual kind of vibes, then layer this on top. You are welcome, these smell amazing together. Please let me know what some of your favourite layering combinations are and also let me know if you're excited for part two of this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this video and also turn the post notifications on so you don't miss the second part because the next five fragrances that I'm going to talk about are hot fire 
flames. Anyway guys, please don't forget to leave this video a massive thumbs up. As you know, it really supports my visibility across this platform. I'll see you guys in the next video on Friday. Bye!